guys, it's Georgia. Welcome back to my channel. So you probably haven't seen me in a good three months because I just haven't posted, you know, it's just been busy. Don't have to explain myself, just haven't posted. But here I am today with a new video. So probably know there's this thing going around attached to Snapchat called YOLO and it's basically a place where people can send in anonymous messages, pretty much say whatever they want and you respond to them on your Snapchat story. So I thought for today it would be funny to react to what people have to say on my YOLO. So I never really like YOLOs because people can say some pretty mean stuff on there. But it's supposed to be a light-hearted, jokey video, so if anything negative comes up, we're going to just make a joke of it because, you know, it's what it is. So I have screenshotted, I got a lot of messages actually, so thank you to everyone who sent in those messages because it, this video wouldn't be able to happen without them. So this intro has gone on for long enough, so let's just get right into the video. Okay, first one. Actually super sweet. Hope you're doing well. Oh, starting off nice. Thank you to whoever said that. Hope you're doing well as well. I saw your comment on Noah Beck's TikTok. Cute. Maybe go for someone in your own league. <laughs> Already, I knew I was going to get comments exactly like this. One, if you don't know who Noah Beck is, he's someone on TikTok and all girls would agree he's very attractive. And... I just put a comment on there that your video has good vibes or something like that. Like that's not, can I no comment on whoever right that I am dictating who I can comment on or what I can comment? I don't think so. So I can comment on whoever's TikTok I would like and I didn't even comment it in that way. So we had our first dumb comment. <laughs> Next one, Yuki is the cutest, just saying. Oh, Yuki. Yuki is my best friend, Jasmine's dog. I'll put a picture of her right here. Adorable, right? So, yes. Yuki is the cutest. End of discussion. What is your favorite subject? So, that's a hard one, actually. Um, like, I love chemistry. I gotta say that's my favorite. Chemistry is my favorite subject. The teacher is awesome. Love the subject. It's great. But I also do love math a lot. Yeah, people are like, what? You like math? Huh? But I actually really do like math. I do extension math, actually. So I do quite a lot of math. But I really love it. And the teacher is also great. So it's got to be out of chemistry and math. Definitely my top two favorites. I assume you don't like dancing. See, here's the thing, right? So... The answer, the simple answer to that would be yes, like I don't like dancing, like I don't like the dancing that everyone normally thinks about, like ballet, jazz, all that dance, because me here, not coordinated for dancing, not flexible at all, I can't even touch my toes, and yeah, then that sort of thing, I used to do it when I was like five, but yeah, dancing like that, but I do love doing TikTok dancing. By the way, you can follow me on TikTok to see my TikTok dancing. But I like TikTok dancing because it's fun and it's easy for my body to do my coordination. It suffices that level. But so I like TikTok dancing, but not normal dancing, if that makes sense. If you could do any hobby that you don't already do and be good at it, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, it would definitely have to be drawing. Like, I see these people who just can draw, with just a pencil, draw these amazing things. Like, incredible. I'm always stunned. Like, if I could do that, I would be ecstatic. So, definitely, I would do drawing. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing this, but let's move on. Any boys in the picture? No. Next question. Tips on how to talk to a boy. <laughs> Lol. That is pretty hard question for me to answer because I've never had much experience talking to boys at all so but I do have good experience talking to people so if I could give some general advice I would say to just be yourself because you don't want to put yourself out there to people of someone who you not really are and you just should make sure that you feel comfortable talking to them and be confident yeah 
So I would just say to, number one is just to be yourself. That's the biggest thing. Don't pretend to be someone that you're not. That's probably the best advice I could give, even though I'm not the best person to come to for boy things. I recently got my period. What's better, tampons or pads? <sighs> Whoever put this question, you know, I'm not really an advice column, but what I would say is, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. You know, like me personally, I still haven't used tampons because I'm not comfortable using them. But pads are definitely a good starter if you're getting a period. But if you're comfortable using tampons, you go for it. I'm not stopping you using tampons, but if you can't decide, pads are probably the easier thing. But again, do whatever you feel like because it's everyone's different. What is your 11 like? Hmm. Yes, I am really enjoying year 11 a lot. It is really good just to be able to do the subjects that like I picked and that I love and like get to be seniors at the school, like school's on, we're almost at the last years of our school. I have really amazing friends and all my teachers are great. And yeah, I, well, I, anyone who knows me knows that I love school in general. So it's great. So yes. Okay, moving on. Your ass is that big, you make Kim K look flat. I have have no words to that, actually. Um I don't know who the hell wrote that. Um it's actually quite a compliment because believe me, I do not have a big ass at all. So if you really want to hype up my confidence and say that, you know, go for it, but <laughs> oh some people they just really don't have a brain in their head. Like why why would you comment something like that? Like that's just and there were a couple of other ones that I got that were just really inappropriate. I did not want to put in this video. And I just scratch my head, you know? Really, I do. I really do. <laughs> Alright, next question. Why do you make YouTube videos? Again. Dumb. I, like, I like making videos. I love editing videos. And I want to put myself out there. It's something that I'd like to do when I have time. Like, why do I need to explain myself to that? Like, again, some comments are just really, like, shows the level of intellect of some people. Seriously. Like, why do I make YouTube videos long? Oh, I knew this video was going to be very interesting. Have you had your first kiss? Also, no. Who do you hate the most at SMC? Well, hate's a really strong word, and I would never use the word hate. Like, I definitely dislike people, but I would never out out people like that especially on my own channel so I'm not answering that question but hate's probably the wrong word to use in that context and the last question of the day did you get bullied mind sharing why if you did like you see i got a few comments like this i've never gotten bullied before like i don't know where people have got this idea that i have gotten bullied before but i haven't like sure i've gotten picked on and like for doing TikTok and all that stuff. And I've gotten mistreated by a lot of people, but I've never gotten bullied. Like, I don't know if you want to really go into what bullying actually is, but I've never experienced that. And I'm very grateful that I've never had to experience that. So yeah, like I can do a whole separate video talking about my experience with friends and things like that at school, which I'm planning on doing, but definitely haven't gotten bullied before. So just want to make that clear to anyone that's watching that had commented that question. Okay, so this video was quite fun to do, to be honest. Even though some of the questions were a bit dumb and stupid, like it just made the video that much more interesting. So th again, thanks to everyone who did enter in questions on my Snapchat. And you can follow me on all of my socials here. I'll put them somewhere on the screen here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was a little bit of fun, lightheartedness to brighten up your day. And hopefully I will see you soon with another video. Bye.
right. Is the frame good? Yes. Oh, my hair looks very puffy today. I'm gonna keep looking at the screen, not the camera. Boom. Hey guys. That was so bad. Hey guys, it's Georgia. Oh, what is that? It's really... I'm trying to film a video. This one's going in the blooper reel. 